eight, seven, six, five. Open so if you open. Open three, two, one. First of all, I'd like to welcome all of you to our very first ever LEAP conference. We want our platform to be a sanctuary for the unique and the brave. And we want to work with you, we want to learn from you, and all of you, no matter what your background, no matter what your preferred language of programming. In 2019, we'll introduce our Magic Script technology, which will support JavaScript for native development on top of LuminOS. We're also announcing today a $200,000 fund to pay bug bounties to anyone who found security vulnerabilities in our OS. Today, I'm very proud to announce our independent creator program, an awards program for the most innovative indie releases. We partnered with a firm to offer 0% financing. We're also introducing uh, prescription inserts for Magic Leap. Prismatic is our declarative HTML library for building spatial web experiences. It uses familiar syntax, so all you have to do is include the script in your project. What this means is that every 2D web developer in this room can be a 3D web developer right now. So we already support WebGL. By the end of this year, we will support WebXR. Our goal is nothing short of the most realistic human experience in spatial computing. This holy grail is both ambitious and we believe achievable. So I'm excited to announce one of the first partnerships this morning to you, which is a partnership with the University of Miami to turn the UM campus right in our backyard into the first spatial computing learning environment. And when compelling concepts meet a powerful platform, suddenly we're able to really move people. Hello everyone, I'm Richard Taylor, the creative director and co-founder of Weta Workshop. I'm Greg Broadmoor, uh, Weta Workshop game director and creator of Dr. Broadboards. Magic Leap and the Imaginarium are, are, are coming together because we're excited about the whole idea of, of widening the sphere of, of performance capture. This can only really be done in Magic Leap and only in mixed reality. Imagine if characters previously alive only in the world of film really existed in your world. The bottom line is we want you to be able to deliver industry-leading experiences uh, using Unreal Engine 4. By building features and optimizations in those games and then bringing them back into the engine, we believe that all developers benefit. Together with Magic Leap, we'll be working to put communications in your developer toolkit as you're exploring what's possible. By incorporating spatial computing, we're opening up a whole new world of possibilities. Mixed reality and spatial computing can transform the construction industry. Now in a new generation of CAD, to put CAD onto a new platform, and I believe truly that mixed reality and CAD can improve the way every product on Earth is designed. And together we get to create the next pattern of computing. It's going to have those layers they just talked about where we digitize the world and digitize the cities. The short answer to the question of what's next is mixed reality. The possibilities for this are infinite. This could absolutely change our world. Everyone in this room and this community who is watching is figuring out step by step the new era of computer human interaction. You're thinking maybe a small application or you might be thinking something to do in a room which is the beginning, um, but our company is developing and designing for a fairly near future where you deploy uh, not just in a house, not just in a, a coffee house or a workplace, but potentially cross city scale. So think of the city as having a form of sentience and awareness. So you have a digital, uh, almost a digital soul for a physical place. One of the things that makes us different from like VR is that we're rooted to the physical world. There is a physical place, there is a physical city, a room, and that physical thing has a singular digital copy which allows you to springboard into the infinite amount of new worlds you want to build. We're always looking for something that's going to take our network on, from a user perspective to another level. To be the first to work with you guys on integrating 5G into spatial computing, putting 5G on our campus, uh, the Magically Main Headquarters, uh, to do that on our you know, university and other key partners, like create these little microcosms of Magicverse powered by 5G. Um, and then with uh, the AT&T Warner Brothers stuff, it is almost a, an endless toy box. Spatial computing has gone from a vision to an invention to a real thing. This is the chance 
to develop for a whole new medium. And I'll remember today as the day it all began.